I'm Carl Modern. I'm a retired first class petty officer, uh, anti-submarine warfare uh, operator, Air, Naval Air Crewman. And reported to HS-15 at NAS Jacksonville. I was a brand new air crewman, uh, my first squadron. And we started deploying aboard USS America in uh, February of 1977. February of 77, I arrived on C-9 at uh, NAS Norfolk. They, they put us on a, a rush hour bus trip over to the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard where the ship had been in, in a modified overhaul for several months. And we pulled into this huge shipyard and pulled up to, to a giant dry dock complex and there was the America to one side and the forest hall to the other. And I go, what, am I, what have I gotten myself into? You know, what am I going to do here? And, it was it was sort of a culture shock, you know. You step aboard, having never been on a ship other than to visit a small ship, but um, was assigned to a uh, what, what we refer to as a rack in, a, in our squadron compartment, and it was down below the galley in the aft portion of the ship, and you sort of make make do with what you're given and you, know, you make it comfortable, there's little curtains and bunk lights, you can put pictures up in your your sign rack, but uh, it, you make it as homey as possible. I mean, it's a little bit of a culture shock for somebody. I can see how it's not for everybody. I can see how a lot of guys didn't enjoy it, but uh, if, you, if you know that going in, it, it sort of uh, eases your way into it. And it, is, it is a bit of a shock to for the first time, and as that ship got underway from that shipyard, we cruised up the Elizabeth River towards uh, towards Chesapeake Bay, and people were waving at us. All the shipyard workers from the uh, from the various dry docks went by, and uh, it was it was quite a quite an event. I I, I remember it like it was yesterday, and you know there was uh, it's like wow, I'm really I'm really here. And then later that summer, after the, uh, well, even that first cruise, it was like, I think my second day at sea, uh, I was flying with a uh, fellow named Gary Lobdell, who was the chief, division chief, and they, the ship reported a man overboard. Well, you respond as, as if it's the real thing. So I donned my wetsuit real quick and got all set up. And a helicopter went into a hover, and Gary Lobdell slapped me on the shoulder with the th three tap signal, and out into the water I went. Well, there was Oscar the dummy, the the drill dummy, and it was a cold February uh, morning in the uh, Atlantic off Virginia. So here I jumped into the water to re rescue Oscar the dummy, <laughs> so, instead of the, or somebody who fell overboard. And, I got back to the ship and the flight deck corpsman uh, met me with the, at the helicopter with some blankets. They escorted me down to sick bay and took my vitals, made sure I wasn't going hypothermic. And uh, Captain Fuller sent down a message to the flight surgeon that, nice job, great, great job, simulated rescue, simulated bottle of brandy. So I didn't get my combat ration. And so, Fast forward to the 2008 reunion in Jacksonville, and Admiral Fuller, who lived in Jacksonville and at the time, was able to attend the reunion. And he and I had been corresponding over some articles I wrote for the ship's newspaper. And I explained to Admiral, I said, 1977, you told me nice job, simulated rescue, simulated bottle of brandy. So he looked right at me and said, well, how about if I buy you a drink now? I will cherish that memory forever. He was a great, he's a great man. He's a POW for seven years, captain of our ship from 76 to 78. And later on, 30 years later, it was a pleasure to make his acquaintance through these articles and counted him as a friend, still do. It was a pleasure to, pleasure to meet such a fine gentleman, Admiral Byron, Robert Byron Fuller. And that's, that's one of the highlights of my 
able time, and it even happened after I retired. So to, to reacquaint with a fellow that of his stature, you know, that I had known in a much different capacity back 30 years earlier was was quite a humbling experience for such a fine gentleman.